I'm sorry, okay? I tried my best. I tried to enjoy the update. I tried my best to enjoy the biggest update. I myself was hyped for the update. But the amount of people praising this update as the best update is just too dang much. It's not the best update, not even close to empty promise update. And I'm gonna list why the sins of the past update was mid. First, let's talk about the W's in the update. Hardtail nerf, thank you. Horse hands nerf, alhamdulillah. Stick rework, uh, okay. Chaos saber rework, cool visuals, so fine. Spear rework, best weapon rework in my opinion. Toy knife rework deserved. Or notebook rework most definitely deserved. All of the reworked soul except for determination, I love it. EXP and wins requirement on characters tweaked a bit, I don't mind it. And the list goes on. Now, let's talk about the L's in the update. First and the most obvious, the reworked characters. Let's start with classic sense, eh? I think nobody asked for a classic sans work, but the devs went through it and DAMN! He's the more harder characters to play as, but you don't need 200 IQ level to play him. So the devs gave him two counters, both have no iframes, so you can combo attacks into it. And as well air attacks, like his bone assault, and force rush, which freezes you in place. Legit, that's all. And his phase 2 is the same, but on steroids. And his retribution, when reaching 200 stress, you can press X, and to activate retribution, you have unlimited stamina, low cooldowns, faster attacks, and the last attack at the end, but, but you're probably never gonna reach it, unless if you're fighting an iPad kid user. Under Swap Papyrus, he is not overpowered, but he is strong. And why does he only cost 500 EXP? Only 500 EXP, which is, if not stronger than Last Breath's second phase. And his phase one is just so campy, his bones can damage you when they're just fading. His bone wit. I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be a campy move, I guess. And his bone stop is just annoying, and his phase 2 is just hardtail but stronger. The only thing that I like about his second phase is his counter, where he just dunks over you. Best move the entire game though. His moveset is I, but holy shit is he tanky as hell. But aside from that, he is still very strong and his AXP requirement needs to be changed. Disbelief Papa Give me a goddamn option to skip his cutscene damn Also he's overpowered broken busted strongest character in the fucking game No doubt about it His phase one is already strong enough Add three more phases why not Man why the hell does he have a hard mode big ass blaster in his phase one? They're not meant to be that big and of course a dash attack and the zone attack of course. His phase 2 is like your second chance at killing them and if you somehow still phase, don't worry. His phase 3 is everything I said but it's much more longer, painful and straight up torture to the car team. I don't need to say much in his phase 3, it's self explanatory. But, but wait, there's more. His phase 2 is just the icing on top of all the phases and if you somehow still lose, you're a fucking loser. And Revenge Papyrus? How is this allowed? He has a counter, 2000 HP, and if the bar reaches just above 50%, you're gonna kill him without even knowing how much damage you deal. Trying to hit him is nearly impossible without getting hit 
and no joke, I played him over 60 times that I never got to his second phase ever. Unless, unless if I'm barely trying or turning off my brain, which is really impressive, not gonna lie. And his phase 2, you have 10 blocks, 240 fucking stamina, and automatically get 50% of your bar. Which is just stupid. Do I really have to say anything else? Like, look at this! And the next part is them nerfing the TT soul. You need to reach 100% to get your second life. And if it's infinite, you need to hit the sands 30 times. When you reach your second life, you need to hit them 26 times. But hey, they changed it. It is now 10 hits to get your second life and 20 hits to get your third life. But still, it's no easy task to hit the sands 10 times. Oh, just dodge and attack. Yeah, sure, buddy. Just parry block dodge. Fucking genius. So they basically removed the ability to have a second life. So you know the characters that are supposed to be weak. You can win easily without using your brain or anything for sake <laughs> after sands fell sands fell swap emerald team switch papyrus killer sand any goddamn character you can win as however you can use the spy knife and a determination soul to automatically have a second life but they fixed it or even worse dull knife yes dull knife is back in the meta you have three lives and you don't need to equip any souls really you're just a walking punching bag that can fight back and let's talk about the 200 bugs they fixed yeah they fixed 200 bugs and added 200 other more bugs and the big ones that are worse like you just falling off the map when fighting against Classic? I just fell through the map. You ain't watching. Oh, I'm watching, <laughs> man. I spawned in and fell through the fucking map. <laughs> or even Classic Sans being age trained and avoiding physical contact. Once the music cuts, okay, go ahead. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? And the last breath glitch where you can't skip his cutscene and you're forced to sit there for like 10 minutes. Really wonder what you will see devs were cooking in the scripting, cause how does this happen? And the bug where if you just spam jump, you can teleport behind the sands and absolutely give him crazy back shots. And so many other bugs, but hey, they fixed it. But it still proves that the update was rushed even if they worked on it for 6 months. Good thing they acted fast and fixed the most of the bugs I listed in two days or less. Now to the conclusion. Is the sins of the past a bad update? No. But it's not the best. It has many flaws and as I listed them, all of the reworked characters are just broken. They're thinking about nerfing Classic Sans, which is a step in the right direction, and they should get to nerfing all of the reworked characters. You can't deny. They're stronger than 90% of the other characters. What I suggest nerfing classic is give his counter iframes where he can't combo into it or use any of his attacks to combo with the counter and give his bone stream a delay cause it comes out way too fast and damage you, damages you instantly with the lag spike. And about disbelief, his phase 1 HP should be the same. If you have like 500 HP in the first phase, you'll be stuck with it in the phase 2 forcing you to block and minimize your stamina. Give his phase 3 a global cooldown, cause if his phase 4 barely gives you a HP boost, and itself is good, considering you'll be already low. So keep his phase 4 normal and revenge papyrus, nerf everything about him. His damage, HP, and his bar shouldn't increase that fast, his second phase is way too strong, instead of 240 stamina, it should be 160 stamina, or give the car team a HP boost of 50, or 60 minimum 40 and the determination mechanic entirely shouldn't be there nobody asked for a determination soul rework bring back the old determination soul or just buff the other souls a bit 
So my opinion on this UF, uh, USC update, I actually think it's pretty good. I think they reworked everything. Uh, it's really like needed a rework. They got my personal favorites right now for the rework is Saber, Disbelief Papyrus, Ben Papyrus, and Determination Soul. Because I think having infinite infinite lives is pretty good. You just got to get good and get uh, enough hits in. I don't think that's pretty hard to do. I Me mean, personally, this update with the new maps and the new characters and everything getting reworked really is really good. This this map that I'm playing in the background right now that you've probably seen with the disbelief, I think it's actually pretty good. My only concern since Snowy has a gun to my head because I have to say negative things about the update. The only thing I really have bad about it is Classical Sands. I like it, but I wish they just kept it how it usually was because I actually really love the fact the other one with the little mini game in. But now they just have a bunch of spam and stuff. It's not really as fun as it used to be to use a character, but I still think it's fun. My only complaint would have to be this week for Pyrus, because I never liked him anyway to begin with. So changing him and stuff like that really didn't do anything at all. I never really liked him anyway, because he had too many phases, and it was pretty much impossible to kill him. But under Swap Papyrus, really, I kind of like it. I like it. It's better than how it used to be with those Gaster Blasters. Those weren't the best. Uh, all the reworks to the weapons and stuff are also pretty good. I actually really enjoyed some of them because I was kind of stuck not using any different weapons until this update came along and I got to change my weapons and change how I play. Like Saber and Determination so it was actually pretty good. I really do like this rework and Determination. Infin having infinite lives only because you can get 100 uh, Determination, I think that's actually a really good feature. Because it would actually make the thing actually legit. I don't think Frisk only resets one time. That's pretty much my opinion on this update. And yeah.